I was looking for uh, potential uh, opportunities to apply for funding to go and visit collaborators labs and I'm a member of the BPS and I saw uh, on the BPS website the opportunity to go and apply for some funding to work with uh, Professor John Furness uh, over in Australia who's one of the leading uh, anatomists and physiologists uh, in gastrointestinal uh, research and to be able to go and work with Professor Furness was an opportunity that I wanted to certainly explore uh, the application process itself didn't seem particularly onerous and uh, I came up with a project and uh, was lucky enough to be to be selected by the BPS last uh, last year. To be able to work in the laboratory of, of Professor Furness was a fantastic opportunity for me. Uh, the University of Melbourne is, is possibly one of the highest regarded universities in my in my field of gastrointestinal pharmacology. Uh, and to, to be able to go and develop the skill set that I'd be able to do do so in Professor Furness's laboratory was, was a, an opportunity I definitely didn't want to, to miss. The professional highlights for me were to be able to work with uh, uh, people that I've uh, read extensively on, on, their, on their work and to be able to go and collaborate with, with, uh, with some of the world's experts in, uh, in gastrointestinal research was, was a fantastic opportunity. Whilst I was over there, I uh, managed to attend the uh, Australian Society of Neurogastroenterology conference and so got to meet people from the whole of Australia. So to be able to, for, for that conference to be on whilst I was over uh, was, a, was really, uh, uh, really beneficial for me to, to meet people that I've, I've since been in touch with and since uh, had the opportunity to, to uh, uh, brainstorm future potential uh, ideas with and without that opportunity I think I wouldn't have been able to, to do that. The legacy for me, uh, we have a paper in the European Journal of Pharmacology that we are correcting as we speak from the, from the reviewers. I also have a, a great, I managed to pick up a new, uh, new technique uh, that I'm hoping to use over the next 12 months in our laboratory on, on human tissue. I also developed a great range of personal contacts and people to, to discuss our work with. Uh, but I also think on a, a more professional development level, it also gave me the experience of pre presenting uh, to a university uh, uh, outside, uh, outside of my own. This was the first sort of uh, symposium that I, I, I gave, a, a lengthy 45 minute to an hour lecture on my work uh, to, the, to the Department of Pharmacology and to the Depart Department of Anatomy. Doing that, that enabled me to really think about what we've uh, what we've been doing, and to really present that to a, to a different group was uh, was a challenge and and something that has helped really helped organise my thoughts of, of where we where we've been and where we're going next and what the next set of experiments should should really be. For me, it was a challenge to step out of my comfort zone of the laboratory I've, I've been in the last uh, the last three years and to be able to challenge yourself in that fashion. I think is is really important uh, you I think it could only benefit you in the in the in the future so I'd, I'd uh, again reiterate apply it's uh, it's a fantastic thing to to do it's been great for me the application process is is quite straightforward but there is quite a lot to get uh, in place before you start I, I approached professor finesse and sent him an email and, and asked if he'd be interested in in uh, being involved in this application Speaking to your own uh, personal supervisor is, uh, is a good idea as well because they'll again uh, say whether you can go or not, which I think is important uh, for, uh, for three weeks. The, the application, once you've got those things in place, is, is, is fairly straightforward, but it does take a little bit of uh, pre-planning, I would say. But my, my main tip would be to make sure you read the application, like any, uh, any, any uh, proposal or any, any grant uh, application. Also, uh, having a project which fits in well with what you're doing in your own laboratory and also uh, it's quite important to have a project that you can do within the time frame as well because it is a fairly tight, uh, tight window to, to get work done in.